biggest uh, errors which can happen during the whole playback journey is is what if the player support itself fails this the player support usually fails um in scenarios where uh, there are certain unsupported apis like for example um your media source extension apis are not present at all um if you, if that is not present you would not be do be able to do a replicated streaming similarly uh similarly let's say there are some js api methods which which are kind of required um while while creating source buffers um and if they are not available you could not probably be able to stream in the platform similarly um there could be scenarios while maintaining complex state in the app you might end up with with not correctly setting up the media's uh, element or the renderer and while the player is trying to attach itself at that point as well you might face these errors um so the error can happen at the attach player step as well subsequently the fetch manifest url this is like by far um i have seen the majority of the errors happen like um network errors client side network errors api fail- failures are the most which i have observed in any hls live streaming or or live streaming per se um so this is a place where all the network and the api failures happen when you are trying to fetch the manifest url and once you have fetched the manifest url there are chances that your uh, parser installation also fails so for example so um so so they so they could so let's say when you are initializing the parser they could um the parser usually initializes on the basis of what kind of a streaming protocol you are using so uh let's say you you are using a uh, dash protocol so a dash parser would be separately be initialized if you're using an hls pro- based streaming then an hls parser would be initialized now the usually the player uh, asks for a ask for a manifest url um at at the initialization stage and inside the url itself they would be predicting okay using the extension that okay what kind of a parser i should be initializing but sometimes if you're not providing that uh then it would expect you to pro- provide the mime type and using that mime type it would try to initialize itself so if if those mime types goes goes wrong or if let's say uh you fetch uh an m3 u8 parse uh, m3 u8 uh, manifest and you and the content type delivered to you is different at at that point as well you might face uh these uh parser errors okay um cool so next 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 step usually uh in the player is is uh, is a fetch manifest like we got the manifest url from uh the app now it has to subsequently fetch fetch the manifest as well um let's come to so now at the at this step inside the inside the uh video player it's similar to the fetch uh, fetch manifest url um step you might again face and face network errors where which you might have to handle at the fetch manifest level in the video player similarly again um the parse manifest level there could be streaming package related uh, errors for example the tags are not set up correctly um or certain expectation of tags uh, are there but those tags are not even present um uh let and subsequently if if uh, certain codec support is expected sub- for the subsequent segment and if it is not supported at all even at this level itself the player would be throwing us an error um the next one is the abr in abr and streaming engine initialization um once the manifest is parsed and uh it has got all the details and all the con- config values as well if they are set from the back end um then uh the abr stream- abr in this inis- uh, module initialization usually fails when you have given a config 
to the player that these are the restrictions uh, for the stream to play. For example, you would restrict the layers, you would restrict the language. And post initialization, if ABR is not able to find any appropriate layer to play, then also the error happens at this stage. But once this stage, uh, once the player moves on through, through this stage, it finally fetches the right segment. So basically ABR will, will tell you, okay, which layer you need to fetch and subsequently the right segment is being fetched after that. And again, since it's fetching segments again, hits the network layer and network layer has its own issues. Um, it's a similar issues which would be facing in the fetch segment layer as well. And finally, the step is once you have fetched the segments, you take the segments and add it to the um, source buffer. Now, source buffer uh, usually do not, do not, does not throw any error, but in certain conditions where there are limit to um, the size of the source buffer, at that those point, you might be facing errors like your quota kind of got, got exceeded. Uh, and it would, the, the, the browser or, or the device would not even allow you to add any further segments beyond that and would, and the playback would, should, would just fail. Similarly, um, uh, one, one other kind of error could also happen in, at this step is, um, if you, if you need to transmug certain segments, so for example, uh, TS segments, like whenever you do HLS streaming and it is pretty common that you use HLS plus TS, um, um, and, uh, TS by TS, I mean the containers. So if you're using TS containers, TS containers are by default, not supported out of the box by, uh, Chrome. So now in case of Chrome, um, you have to do a transmuxing on the client side to convert this TS segment to MP4 before adding to the source buffer. Um, and during this process, if there are any errors in transmuxing, this also that those also happen at this step. And once we, once everything goes fine at this layer, and finally the segments are added to the renderer or, or, or the media element, um, then the only thing, um, which we have to ensure that there are no media packaging or, uh, segment decoding errors. So at this step, this is the step where, uh, the segments are decoded, uh, uh on the device and, um, if there are any packaging related errors, those would be thrown at this step. If there are any decoding at the client level errors, uh, that would also happen here at this step. 